doing these last few weeks. First, we saw an old picture of my mom when she was little, and I hope a bunch of you dug through your old stuff too. Then, we got to talk to a friend who loves God in Puerto Rico. Do you want to see something else I found? It's a tool belt. When I asked my dad where it came from, he told me about a really bad storm that happened in Louisiana before I was born. There was so much water from the rain that it flooded and filled up people's houses. It was a really hard time for everyone. The water ruined things they loved and needed. So my dad and some friends went to help them rebuild their houses. Louisiana is far away from New York. I bet that was a long road trip. They worked for days and days. I asked my dad why he worked for so long and traveled so far to help. He told me that we help each other when we experience God's love. God helps us when we help others. I really like the thought of building homes and things for people, but I wonder what I can do to help. What type of work I can do for God. Maybe today's Bible story might help. It's time for our Bible story. Our story today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1. But this book isn't about an Acts. It's about actions, the things that we do. This book tells the story of the works of Jesus' followers who started the church, guided by the Holy Spirit. Our story for today finds those very followers facing a tough question. Do you know what Jesus' band of followers were called? They were called disciples. There were 12 of them, and each of them had an important role. Sadly, one of them, named Judas, made some bad decisions that led to Jesus being captured. His actions caused him to give up his role as one of the 12 disciples. It was sad, and it upset Jesus and all of the disciples, but they couldn't stay sad. There was work to do. After Jesus died and came back to the disciples one last time, they knew that the good news of God had to be spread everywhere. And in order to do that, they needed to find someone who could take on the leadership that Judas left. It was a big decision. They narrowed it down to two. Justice and Matthias. The truth was, the decision was too big for them to make. So they went to the Holy Spirit in prayer, believing that that would lead them to the right person. After praying, they cast lots. Casting lots was basically like rolling dice, but they weren't depending on casting lots to tell them what to do. They were depending on the Holy Spirit to make a call. And in fact, that's exactly what the Holy Spirit did. Matthias was chosen to take Judas's spot. Just like Jesus' disciples, we all have work to do for God, like telling others about God's love and what Jesus did for them. But we can trust the Holy Spirit to help us with the work and any tough decisions we need to make. The disciples did that, and so can we, because the Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. others too. My dad reminded me of a place where I can pack lunches for other kids who don't always have all the food that they need. We're going to go together this week. The kids who get to get the meals go to school where I go to school and they get to take the food home. It will help them take care of themselves when there isn't enough. I can definitely help others by putting the meals together and praying for their situations. They are kids just like me. I am so excited I can do something for God in my own way. What are some ways you can do God's work? Let me know next time, okay? Remember, the Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. Thanks for growing with me, friends. <laughs>